Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Before we do, let's just define what PaaS is. So platform as a service allows customers to develop, run, and manage applications without uh, the complexity of building and maintaining the infrastructure typically associated with developing and launching an app. And so Elastic Beanstalk is a PaaS for deploying web apps with little to no uh, knowledge of the underlying infrastructure so you can focus on writing application code instead of setting up an automated deployment pipeline or DevOps tasks. The idea here is you choose a platform, upload your code, and it runs with little uh, knowledge of the infrastructure. And AWS will say that it's generally not recommended for production apps, but just understand that they are saying this for enterprises and large companies. If you're a small to medium company, you can run Elastic Beanstalk for quite a long time. It'll work out great. Elastic Beanstalk is powered by CloudFormation templates, and it sets up for you Elastic Load Balancer, ASGs, RDS, EC2 instances pre-configured for particular platforms, uh, monitoring integration with CloudWatch SNS, uh, deployment strategies like in-place blue-green uh, deployment, has security built in so it could rotate out your uh, passwords for your databases, and it could run Dockerized environments. And so when we talk about platforms, you can see we have Docker, multi-container Docker, uh, Go, .NET, Java, Node.js, Ruby, PHP, Python, Tomcat, Go, a bunch of stuff. And just to kind of give you that architectural diagram to show you that it, it can launch of multiple things, okay?